Hello Stampers! Kelly Atchison at stampabuff.com coming to you live from Menasha, Wisconsin. How are you guys doing on this beautiful Saturday? I don't know about where you are, but where I am, it's really nice outside. It was sunny. It's kind of overcast now, but the temperatures are nice. It's like probably 60 maybe, which isn't as warm as I'd like it to be, of course, but it's a lot better than snow. So we're going to take it, right? Hi, Lynn. Hi, Robin. Welcome. Rhonda's coming in. I have to go down and turn off my space heater. Hang on. I forgot to do that and it's getting really warm. My feet are still freezing though, I have to tell you. I have the coldest feet. <laughs> Anyways. Yeah, so we're gearing up for Easter tomorrow, you guys. Who's got anything going on? What are you doing? So we're not doing anything. Like it's the first time in forever that we aren't going to somebody's house for Easter or having Easter here. And then I thought about it and I'm like, I really should have had Easter for Haley and Jared because they're the only two people that can come over and we're the only place they can go. But I just really didn't think about it. It's so weird, right? Yeah. I think I'm kind of in a, hmm, <laughs> I don't know what to do. <laughs> Hi, Char, Lori, Kathy, Nancy, Joe, welcome in Myrtle Beach. I'm sure it's nice there, right, Nancy? Yeah. Hi, Kelly. Cheryl just popped in. Vicky's watching. So today was actually pretty fun. Um, I did a, I was a guest uh, presenter. Uh, for my friend Dawn, and Dawn is a, another Stamping Up demonstrator, and she was having a um, virtual stamping weekend for her team, and uh, she asked me if I would demonstrate something, and she said the theme for the weekend was masculine cards and fun folds. Oh, two things I absolutely love, so that was fun, and I will show you that card sometime in the future. I'll use it for one of my Facebook Lives, I think, because it turned out pretty darn cool. It's a gift card holder and I used the buy the dock bundle and it turned out really neat. So I'm excited. I'll show that to you guys in the future. Hi Haley. Haley's had kind of a rough day. <laughs> so no baby yet, but um, she broke her glasses, like <laughs> broke them. The lens fell out and the frame is broken and she had them in her pocket because she had her sunglasses on and then she leaned up against something and they broke. And nothing's open. Like there's nothing open to fix your glasses. So then I asked her if black tape would work. You know, black electrical tape. <laughs> there's a flashback from the 70s when everybody's things were taped with black tape. And um, she said, no, that won't work at all. So we're not quite sure what she's going to do. So if anybody knows someplace that might be open on Monday. Um, yeah. Oh yeah, and um, who just said that? I was watching that this morning, and my church is doing that too. Jean said um, she'll be attending church online for Easter, new kind of life. Yeah, there's all kinds of church services online now. And um, my church is, is, is streaming live services for the last few weeks. So I'm pretty impressed. And you know, I got to thinking about that because a lot of times churches are the last ones to really jump on board with technology, a lot of them. And um, I'm thinking the ones that have are pretty happy that they did, they jumped on board, right? Um, and I've thought about this a lot over the years as people will tell me, oh, I'm not into all that, that um, smartphone stuff. and. I've always thought, you know, that's not going away. It's only going to get more technical. And if you don't jump on board, you're going to get left in the dirt. And that's, that's the way it is. And I'm so proud of my mom. She's 75 years old. She runs her Samsung smartphone like a boss. And she still feels like she doesn't know what she's doing with it. But she can do a lot of things. She can send me pictures. She can Snapchat. Um, she can attach things and send them in a text message, in um, instant messaging on Facebook. She has Facebook downloaded. She knows how to go out on the internet and search for stuff. She knows how to go on YouTube. My 75-year-old mom knows how to do all of that. 
And I'm just really proud of her that she didn't get left in the dirt because you're, it's only more isolating and, isolating and more isolating if you don't jump on board with the technology. And um, it's harder for her and she will be the first one to say that it's really super hard because she'll do something but then she can't remember how she did it. Hey, I deal with that too. Like, if you don't do something repetitively to go back and do it again, it's like, oh, heck, I don't even know. Sometimes I get to a place as I'm doing some type of a search on my phone, on my computer, whatever, and it's like, oh, finally I found it. I couldn't tell you how to do it again to save my butt. But it's the, it's the thing where you're not afraid to try. That's what I really have a lot of respect for that because... Um, I think that technology is scary for a lot of people, but don't be afraid to try. And if you mess something up and you jack up your whole phone or your iPad or whatever, you know, just give it to a kid and they'll fix it for you and hand it back and you can try to jack it up again. <laughs> Kids are really good at stuff like that. <laughs> Cindy said that her church has been online for a few, or few years. That's good because they're ahead of it, right? Um... Yeah, that's always something that I think of. It's like when somebody says, I'm not getting into all that technology. It's like, well, you're going to get left in the dirt, aren't you? Yep, you are. And I, I feel bad for those people. They may not even know. They may not even know, but they are going to get left in the dirt. And then it's kind of pretty isolating. And um, one person that really comes to mind for me is I cannot get my mother-in-law to get on Facebook. And... Um, I've told her so many times, like, you're missing out on all your grandchildren and what they're doing in their lives because everybody else is on Facebook. In our family, everybody's on Facebook. So I can see what my brothers-in-laws and sister-in-laws are doing and what their kids are doing. And we, you can chat back and forth and congratulate them and wish them happy birthday and, and you know, say, I'm sorry you don't feel good and all the things. And then you forget that that one person isn't on Facebook, so she doesn't have any clue what's going on. Makes me sad. And I know I can't push anybody to do that, but I really think she's missing out on a lot. And then now, especially since she's living alone, um, Steve's dad died. And I think she would, it's kind of a sense of community. That's the way I feel about it. Anyways. Yeah, Kim's dad refuses to do online banking. I know, I know, and that's a scary thing. It's a scary thing because you hear about people getting their accounts hacked and so on and so forth, but I don't personally know anybody who's actually ever been out of, like, a substantial amount of money. You know what I mean? Like, the bank always says, nope, don't worry, we'll get this straightened out, you'll get your money back, all that, so... But um, I do know people who have been scammed. I know somebody that lost $20,000 in a scam because they um, gave somebody the wrong personal information because they thought they were somebody that they weren't. And so that happens, and that's going to continue to happen. You're always going to have crooks, right? Yeah. Oh, Rhonda says, Haley may have to dig out some old glasses. And she did grab her old glasses because the frame was the same as her new glasses. But um, those broke, and she didn't know that they were broke to the extent that they are, so she tried that too. <laughs> yeah, and Cindy says, Cynthia says, Facebook has kept me sane through this, and she's by herself too. I know, right, Cynthia? It's like, think of all the people who aren't participating on Facebook, and my mom will literally sit down at the end of the night on the couch with her phone and just go through Facebook and comment and like and comment and like. She can be on there for an hour. And while it may seem like, oh, you just wasted an hour, she didn't have anything else to do. And now she knows everything that's going on with everybody who wanted to share. And I can also say that I have cousins down in Arizona. I would not know them at all if it weren't for Facebook. But we've actually gone down there and visited and stayed with them and had a wonderful time. They flew up here and went to Haley's wedding. We didn't even know them before Facebook. So it's pretty cool. Anyways, I have a prize to give away, you guys. Um, I have another one of the kerchief card kits. These are so, so pretty. I know that who all of my winners of these kits have just loved them. <clears throat> this one is for commenting yesterday on my live 
and Joanne Prosser of Spring Hill, Florida. This will be on its way on Monday. So congratulations, Joanne. I know you're gonna love this. I've got your name and address right on the back here so I can get that out in the mail. Everybody else's pri um, prizes went out in the mail. What is Mary Ellen saying? She says, I am in a small town with no family here, so Facebook has been great. I know, right? And people say, you know, people get a um, kind of a bad attitude about Facebook because they're tired of all the drama. Whatever. You get to pick and choose who you follow. So if you're getting a lot of drama on your Facebook, that's your own fault. You go to those people that are causing the drama and unfollow them. You don't have to unfriend them. But if you unfollow them, they don't ever know that you unfollowed them. You get to pick and choose what you want to see in your Facebook um what do they call that? News feed. You can pick and choose. I like actually started unfollowing some people that had friended me and I think they were just customers. Um, and I unfriended them because their big platform was animal abuse. And I'm not for animal abuse, okay? But what they were doing to get their point across was they were sharing a lot of pictures of um, like let's say pit bulls that had been torn up in a fight so they were missing an ear and they had a gaping cheek and this is the stuff that was coming through on my news feed. I do not want to see that ever. I unfollowed them and guess what? I don't see it anymore and it's all you have all the power. So snowy powerless Maine. April are you kidding me? You don't have any power and it's snowing? I'm so sorry. <laughs> Oh my gosh, we're supposed to get hammered with snow, like, I don't know when. Do you guys know when here in Wisconsin? It's coming. It's coming. Yeah, and um, Judy said, election year, I've unfollowed some people. Exactly. If you find the people and what they're posting is stressing you out or it's inappropriate, whether it's really inappropriate to everybody or just to you. This is your Facebook account. You get to pick and choose what you want to see. And if you find somebody that is posting things that you don't care for, just go unfollow them. You don't have to unfriend them because maybe at some point you might want to contact them if you really know them. In my case, gosh, I have like 5,000 friends on Facebook. I don't even know, maybe more. A lot of them are people that follow me, so I don't actually know those people. But um, yeah, I get people that... that obsess over some very strange things that will keep coming through my newsfeed and I just go and follow them because I don't want to see all your weirdness. <laughs> and again, just my opinion. Everybody's entitled to their own opinion and what way be, may be weird to me may not be weird to you and you might like to see it. So we're all different and that's what makes the world go round. Bev said she won't unfollow me. Thank you, Bev. <laughs> By the way, I got your card in the mail today. So I did get uh, quite a bit of mail today, and I thought I'd wait until the end to share it with you. Number one, because we want to get this card made. Um, but number two, because I'll probably be in tears when I get to the end of one of them. Um, I opened it and read it, and I literally was in tears. So it's just very touching and very a very powerful letter so we'll see that at the end and don't let me forget okay like don't let me get to the end and say goodbye and not have shown you my cards that I got in the mail today yeah who's gonna be in charge of that <laughs> somebody needs to be in charge all right so today I am featuring a card I just I'm like oh what am I gonna make today for Facebook live and um, so I started digging let me show you what I get to dig through Hang on, there's a lot back here to dig through. So right behind me on my shelf is all these swap cards, you guys. Like bags and bags of them. You know I do a lot of swapping, and this is why. So I have a lot to pull from. Lots and lots. Oh, that's, I was looking for this one. I couldn't find it before. We were almost going to do something in that bag, but I couldn't find it. Anyways, I reached behind me and I grabbed in one of these bags. And I started looking at the cards in the bag to try and decide what we were going to make tonight. <laughs> Connie says, don't cry. I'm sensitive. Connie, get your Kleenex right now because if I read you this letter that I got, and um, Wendy Morris, are you on here? And you let me know, if I can't read your letter to people, then I won't. But if you're on here, you let me know because 
Um, and Connie, grab your Kleenex because it is just so, oh my goodness. Um, anyways, so in the bags, I opened them up and took out a pack of cards and um, I went through them and picked one out to share with you. And the card, the, the pile of cards that I picked up was actually from my team meeting. It was a swap card that one of my team members made. And um, Haley goes, gross, Kelly, you don't cry. <laughs> I get tears once in a while, Haley. She's right, I really don't cry, hardly ever. But I have before. <laughs> I'm not like I'm not dead inside. <laughs> I'll never forget um, my friend Dina, who is hysterical, and her husband is really funny too. She was talking about his husband and how they kind of they're very sarcastic back and forth with each, with each other. And she was telling the story, and it was so funny because whatever she was talking about, and she's like, "Yeah, he would never say something like that. He's dead inside." And then she went on and on, and some lady wrote her a big long email telling her how she needs to get marriage counseling and you should never say that about your spouse and wah, 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 wah. and we're like are you kidding me right now it was hysterical he's dead inside he doesn't have feelings <laughs> and of course he's not he's got feelings he's a big guy he's got big feelings but it's just a joke people need to like lighten up a little bit be happier like me a little crazy but happy crazy <laughs> So anyways, squirrel, back to my story. So I pulled out this card and I went, oh, this is really cool. I think we'll feature this tonight. Oh, Bev, I've had like probably three of these today. How much caffeine? A lot. You know I have. <laughs> anyways, hi, Jean Benson. I haven't seen you in a long time. Um, I picked out this card and I thought this is really cool. I love this card. I love the layout and I love the paper that she used. So we're going to start off here with Sailing Home and Smooth Sailing Dies. And I haven't used this set in such a long time that I was pretty excited about it. There are some really, really cool dies in here. And of course, then you've got all these, let me get my fingers out of the way, all these beautiful images. And I know the writing is backwards right now, but it is what it is. Um, and then there's a whole suite of products that goes with this. This amazing Come Sail Away Designer Series paper. Perfect for masculine cards. And if you know anybody who, not necessarily, they don't have to like boats or sailing or the sea or lakes or whatever. But for men in general, this is awesome. But especially for somebody who likes the sea. Okay. So with that being said, in this gorgeous paper... Instead of this paper, we're going to be using this paper. And how crazy is that? This is the Sea a Silhouette Designer Series paper. And as long as I am featuring that, let me see. Um, I'm going to see if I can find the whole pack of it here. Here it is. Haley used this on her scrapbook pages. Haley, I took some of your papers over there to make this. <laughs> um, but... To see this paper in real life, it's so pretty. And it's all kind of like, it uses like, you know, um, sprinkles. What are those sprinkles? Those pigment sprinkles. Yeah, that's what's on one side. Look at this. I could actually make this with pigment sprinkles, but look at that. It's very big and bold and very pretty. And again, this is called See a Silhouette. And it goes with a suite of products also. Let me grab a different one. Look at this. Now, doesn't that, that just screams like, um, what am I, I don't want to, um, nighttime. What is it? Nighttime stuff like space. That's what it is. Space. This is outer space. And then we've got this cool design and let me grab another one. Oh, I might be through all of them. Hang on. Um, I showed you that and that and that. Oh, and this one. Look at how cool is that? This just reminds me of whales. Every time I see it, I think of whales. Isn't that just gorgeous? This paper is so, so beautiful. So I think I got through all of them now. Oh no, I didn't show you this one. Look at that one. This is just awesome, awesome background paper. Okay, now we're through all of them. Let me just set these aside. I'll put these all back away later. When you're not waiting for me, right? Okay. 
Oops, I don't want to cover up the prize. We don't want to get to put that out in the mail. Okay, so see a silhouette, sailing home. This is the combination. And I wonder, is is Patty Skiba watching tonight? Because does, is this ringing a bell for you, Patty? This is your card, my friend. All right, so somebody asked me too how to swap with me. If you're on my team, you can belong to our team meeting swap. We do it once a month, and that's a lot of fun. If you're not on my team, I don't host swaps. They're kind of just for my team members. But you're welcome to go out on Facebook and you can do a search for um, card swaps and you can get in on other swaps. But if you're a member of my team, that's how you get to swap with our team meeting swap. Okay, I think I'm ready to turn my camera around because I've got everything out here and ready to roll. And are you guys ready to stamp? I'm excited to show this to you. Patty, you're on here. I'm making your card, girlfriend. You're gonna, oh, it's beautiful. I love it. Okay, so close your eyes. We're gonna turn this camera around and we're gonna get some stamping done. Hang tight. And there we go. Not ready yet. Don't open your eyes if you get motion sickness because I don't want anybody thrown up. So this morning I did a um, guest presentation and I said that too. There is no throwing up in stamping. That is not allowed. I'm not ready yet. Hang on, my phone is, my stand is kind of jacking me around here. Okay, I think we're straight. I think that looks pretty good. I'm gonna pull you up on my screen. I'll let you look at the beautiful papers while I'm doing that. And it never fails. Somebody is instant messaging me. <laughs> Something that pops up on my screen and I can't see anything. And I wonder if there's a way to like, easily turn that off so I can turn it off. It's not that big of a deal. Okay, so we're going to move this out of the way. We have Whisper White Thick, four and a quarter by 11. Let me get out the rest of these pieces, bits and pieces, lots of bits and pieces. I have an envelope, Whisper White envelope. I've also got, this is the paper we're going to use. Now, what do you think? This paper with this stamp set, kind of a really cool idea, right? I can't take credit for this idea because Patty made it. But she had a really neat idea with this paper that reminds me of waves and whales with the sailing home set. This is four by five and a quarter. I've got a two and a half by six inch piece for my envelope flap. Then I've got two more pieces of this paper. Oh, and here's the back, by the way. Is that not gorgeous? Again, you could use this for galaxy. That's the word I was looking for. Deep space galaxy, galaxy paper. Um, then we've got two pieces of this same paper. And these are two and a half by four. And... Then I'm going to bring in silver foil paper. These are two and a half by three and a quarter. I've got two whisper white layers that are two and a quarter by three. A scrap of whisper white here, another scrap, and I wrote scrap on it so I wouldn't get confused. <laughs> Little yeah. tricks of the trade, I'm telling you. And then what else? Oh, I die cut a circle from the silver foil. Now you could certainly do this in the middle of your silver layer to save on your paper, okay? But I didn't think of it. And then I have the scallop that goes just inside of this. Now this, um, these are both from the layering circle dies, okay? All right, I think we're ready to rock. Uh, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Okay, here comes. <laughs> I'm like, what am I doing first? First thing we're going to do here is bring in our paper trimmer and we are going to, oh, Yvonne says she loves that designer series paper. I know, right? It's gorgeous. We are going to score this at five and a half inches and eight and a quarter. Okay, so we've got two score lines there. And before I forget, you guys, I will not be live tomorrow. It is Easter. We're all going to take a little break. And I'm going to take a break that I really need. <laughs> not going to lie. When I get done with this Facebook Live tonight, I'm going to go make cupcakes, Easter cupcakes. 
I have some little fun little bunny things and some sprinkles that are Easter themed. Okay, do you see what I did there? Instead of folding this back like I almost always do, I folded it under. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring in, oh, let me see, how am I gonna do this? Hang on. Oh, we're gonna wait. We're going to take one of these layers and we're going to add it right here, okay? And glue, here we go. What's this other one? All right, so here we go. We're gonna cover this side up. And we're gonna add this. You're just gonna center this right on this little panel. Okay. And then the other piece that we have here um, we're going to, where'd my dies go? Right here. We're going to do a little die cutting before we go any further. I kind of flipped right there from one thing to another, and I apologize for that, but I should have probably done this first. So we've got this rope die here, and we are going to die cut that on one of my little strips of white. And then we have, we need a couple sailboats. So here comes the bigger sailboat and the little sailboat. I'm gonna stamp both of those in Memento black ink, just like this. And the smaller one, just like that. And I think we're good. Oh, you know what? Oh, oh shoot. Um, I'm missing a stamp. I didn't know that the water stamp wasn't in the set. Patty, what's, what set is that water? I think it's in that. Hang on. Take a break. I'll be right back. I gotta look for the water stamp. See if I can find it. It's in that one with the storky bird in it. Oh, you guys. Okay, I found one that'll work. It's not the one that she used, but it'll work, so don't worry. Boy, that took a long time. Oops. I got it. It's under control. What I was looking for, you guys was a water stamp. I need a stamp that does water. And while this isn't the one Patty used, it's going to work. This is from High Tide. And yeah, there's the, this is the, this is the lighthouse set that you're talking about, right, Holly? Thank you. That is so sweet. Um, but this isn't the one that, that, um, I don't think this is the one that she used. There's another one that has some water in it too, but I don't know what it's called. And we're going to roll with this because it's going to work great. I kind of didn't realize, oops, I need a different size block. I didn't realize that that water stamp wasn't in here. So any type of water stamp will work. Okay, so once we have this done, then we are going to die cut. You've got the die cut for the large, or the die, I mean, not the die cut, for the large sailboat, the one for the small sailboat, We've got this for the rope. And then, as long as we're going to go crazy here, who said we were going crazy? I am going to die cut one of these, um, oh, I can never remember what the steering wheel is called for a boat. What's it called, you guys? Where are my, where are my sailboat people? Um, you're going to die cut one of these out of here. And I think that's good. Okay, so I've already done all that. I've got, isn't that the coolest thing ever? The steering wheel for the boat. Here comes our rope. Look at how cool that looks. Yeah. And here's both our sailboats. Die cut just perfectly. And then the other thing that I wanted to show you from this set is this. This is a label and it's got the stitching around it. And how cool is that, right? Yeah, so this fits um, several of the greetings that are in the sailing, whoops, sailing home stamp set, okay? So it fits this one, it fits that one. 
Then you also have, oh, let me get this out. How about this? I have one of these cards that I always make. Here's all the images I stamped up. I love how real they look. But here's all the dies with the images stamps. You've got the boat and the anchor, the lighthouse, the smaller sailboat. Here's a rope tied in a knot, some seaweedy stuff. We've got, um, oh, where did that go? Oh, here's a compass. And then you have the hands for the compass that you could die cut. Here's that long rope, the label. Here's another label that goes great with the thanks, the congrats. That, did I say anchor? Yeah. So lots of really cool die cuts in here. Put this away. Hang on. Sometimes it's easier said than done. I don't want to lose any of these, right? So make sure I get them all put back in here. Oh, here's my, here's my rope too. Okay, so we've got our rope, our steering wheel, and our two sailboats. What we're gonna do here is I'm gonna bring in some blends. And I've got the smoky, light smoky slate blend. Did anybody tell me what that steering wheel is called yet? Um, nope. Yeah, Lakeside something. Diana had the stamps that I was looking for was Lakeside something. The helm. Yes, you guys, the helm. Okay, I'm going to take the um, light smoky slate and I'm going to color just like Patty did on the bottom of the sailboat, just like that, okay? And it just kind of adds a little something. At first, I didn't even notice that she had colored it in. But if you don't have it colored in, it just looks kind of strange. Okay, so we got that. And then I grabbed light seaside spray because I also noticed, I thought this was very clever. She took and colored the water by the boats. And it was something that I almost missed on her card, but I think it would really stick out like a sore thumb if she hadn't done that. So that's what we had there. I thought that was pretty brilliant, right? Okay. Then we are going to... Um, 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 take this and... Where'd that punch go? I've got a two inch circle punch here. This is the part that's gonna hold our um, gift card holder. Gosh, that's kind of crooked too. I didn't do a very good job on that, but you get the idea. So you just wanna center this from side to side. And what I'm doing is I'm looking at how much hangs over here and how much hangs over here. That's how I kind of center mine. And we're gonna punch that out. Okay, so this is a place where you can grab your gift card holder. And I think what I'm going to do, I don't know what Patty used on her card, but I'm gonna use tear and tape because I hate it when those things come apart. I might have to cut it down the middle, I don't know. Let's see, where's my, I, have, I had a gift card here. Let's see if I can find it. Hmm. Does anybody see it? Oh, here it is. I've got an Amazon gift card here. Oh yeah, I've got plenty of room over here to put that tear and tape in here. That's what's gonna hold this and make it the strongest hold. And I'm just gonna do that. And I'm gonna keep it as close to the edge as I possibly can and get just a little bit more at the top here. See, I missed right at the very top. A little more right up here. Okay. I hate it hanging over the edge like that, so that's why I'm kind of being kind of really persnickety about that. There's a word. <laughs> Who else says persnickety? That's a weird word. And then I'm going to put a little bit of tear and tape at the bottom so my card, gift card, doesn't fall out through the bottom. You don't want that to happen. Here we go, and here we go. Okay, boom, there we go. This is where your gift card goes. It fits right down in there, and people can grab it right in that half circle there, okay? So that's, I'm gonna put the Amazon up here at the top. There we go. Okay, I guess it doesn't matter. All right, next, next thing we're gonna do. We're going to take 
this designer series paper. This is the big four by five and a quarter inch piece. And we're going to add this to the inside of our card. And isn't that just stunning? I think this is so gorgeous. Then we're gonna bring in one of these layers. And we're gonna add that right here in the middle. And then we're gonna bring this in and going to add this right here. Let's see. Oh, here comes my circles. Let's see if I can stamp this in the center. We'll see how good I do. Um, I'm going to bring in two different colors of ink here. I've got Pacific Point is the color that I'm going to maybe use. I'm going to stamp this on a scrap first to see if that's the color that I want. Yep, that's the color I want. Pacific Point. I'm gonna stamp this right in the middle. Ooh, that turned out great. I wasn't, I wasn't real sure of myself there. And we're gonna put this right on our silver layer. Just like that. And then this is gonna go. Hang on, my crown is falling off my head. <laughs> right over here. Okay, and then, I don't know what I'm going to do with that steering wheel yet. I'm excited about it. Okay, so these two pieces, oh, this piece right here, we're going to put that rope on there. And this is what stalled me from finishing this. I wanted to be able to put this rope on here and trim it off without, I don't know what I was going to say. I want to be able to trim this, not add this to my card front first. That's where I was going with that. There was a reason. I just can't remember. That was hard to explain. Okay, so I wanted to be able to do this before I put it on my card front. So we're going to take this and add it right over here. So we've got this beautiful contrast going on here. Here we go. Okay, and then this piece and this piece is what we're left with. So now we have to stamp some water. And that's where this stamp comes in. Any type of water stamp will work. This is from the High Tide. This is a really cool water stamp. We're just going to stamp about right there. Here comes some water. Like that. Maybe just a little bit more right there. And a little bit more right there. Okay, see how that's just flowing through there beautifully. And then we've got some birds, some like seagulls. And Haley and I saw three storks. We have a lot of pelicans around here. We saw three storks flying up in the sky when we were out for a walk the other day. And I said, um, I sent a Snapchat to my friend and asked if that was a sign from God and she, that the baby's going to be born. And she said, why would three planes in the air be a sign from God? <laughs> I guess. No, they're storks. They're not planes. It was kind of funny. There we go. There's our birds. And now we're going to bring these boats in. And it was pretty funny. I'm like, how does... I said, oh, I suppose they do. Oh, we're going to do this one first. Because this one goes under the other one. This, they overlap just a touch, you guys. So we're going to put this one right up here. And this one right down here. Oh my goodness, I love this, Patty. This is the coolest card ever. And then, so I'm going to tell you something about this card before I go any further. I probably wouldn't use the color I use to color the water on the boats because it's really sticking out. This is obviously not the color that Patty used. So I use the light seaside spray, and I'm thinking what I should have done instead is used the um, light balmy blue. So I'm going to see if I can tone that down a little bit. And yep, I think this is going to work because it looks kind of purple, you guys, because of course light posy is a purple. Oh yeah, that's a much better plan. 
So again, always a way to fix something, right? Well, not always, but most of the time. Yeah, I like that better. Okay, then we are going to take this and add some glue just to the side of it because this is actually gonna cover up this one perfectly. So that's what you're looking at. You're looking at how you're gonna cover up that same size rectangle that's right under there. Yeah, and then, I didn't forget about these. These are our basic adhesive back sequins. There's some white ones in here. And I am going to grab those and add those. Now these are kind of iridescent-y, like my fingernails. <laughs> what do you guys think of my own paint job? I can tell you that I'm way out of practice. It's been a long, long time. What do you guys think? Isn't this cool? Now, of course, you can do this with any stamp set, with any designer series paper, but I just really loved what Patty did here. Whoops, I just threw my punch in the ink. What Patty did here with this paper, I just thought it was so creative and pretty. Okay, here comes, oh, I forgot the, the helm. So I wasn't sure if I wanted to add that right here, you guys. What do you think? You tell me. Hang on, I gotta scroll my screen a little bit. Okay, do you like that here? Should I put it over, no, I don't like it over there. Should I put it here? Or I was thinking of putting it right in here, like right down here. Inside, the front or the inside? Thanks, Haley. Haley reminded me of the wheel. I forgot the wheel. Should we do it in here or right here on the front? Gosh, I don't know. I'm liking both. Haley says either. I'm thinking we need a little bit something else for the front. We've got a whole bunch of stuff going on in here, but how about just a little bit something for right here? Okay, here we go. Front, bottom, front, bottom, inside. I like it on the inside, inside, front. Oh, we've got, I'm, I'm going to do it right here, I think. So I'm just going to grab my glue and I'm going to add a little bit of glue. I love this. Isn't that cool? Yeah, that's a great gift card holder. Okay, we still have to do this because we want our envelope to look smashing when it shows up, right? And our sentiment on the inside says, let, hang on, where'd my glue go? Let hope be your anchor through the storms of life. You know what? I could easily send this to either one of my brothers. It's a good masculine card. And um, maybe give them a gift card to their favorite place so that when things open up again, they can go there. Like I know my brother Jeff down in Milwaukee, he, um, he likes a Mexican restaurant that I went to lunch with him at once down there. I could get him a gift card there. Um, my brother Steve, him and his wife like to do scratch offs, so I could get him a gift card for some scratch offs, or even maybe fold some scratch offs up and put them in here. That might be a good idea. The neighbor across the street was helping Steve with some um, brush because he cut down that big tree, so we're trying to dispose, you know, figure out how to dispose of the brush. And then he's also an electrician, so Steve's been talking to him about when we put up our pavilion in the backyard, we're going to run power to it. I could get him a gift card for his favorite place and give him this card. card could be good for a lot of different things. Okay, here we go. Look at that. <gasps> Beautiful! Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a picture of this and put it... Um, on Facebook, my blog. I don't know if I'm gonna get my blog post done tonight or not because when I get done here, I'm I quit. <laughs> like I'm not. I've got emails sitting out there, you guys, that are not answered yet. But I told you that I went through 500 emails the other day, and it took me like four hours. And so, what I hate is if somebody's sitting at home thinking, gosh, I emailed her last night and I still haven't heard from her, and now she just said she's not gonna go through her emails. How long does it take to answer an email? Well, it doesn't take that long, but when you have a whole bunch of emails and then you have to answer them, 
and you have to go do what it says in the email and take care of this, that, the other thing, then pretty soon when you have 500 to go through, it takes you four hours. So when I'm done with this card, and I know you guys are good with it, so don't say, no, Kelly, go ahead. I know you're good with it. I just like to kind of explain why. If you emailed me last night, I haven't gotten back to you yet. Um, I will. I will get back to you. But when I say that when I'm done with this, I'm gonna I'm done for till Monday, then I'm really kind of gonna be done till Monday, and that probably won't happen. But I'm at least done till for today, because I need to go do some R and R, and I think I might curl up in the living room in my pajamas with a good book. I don't know what I'm reading right now. I'll tell you guys next time I open up my Kindle. It's a weird book again. Kind of, it's, I think it's kind of like Gone Girl. It's just strange, right? Um, it's a strange book and I can't quite figure it out yet. So I just keep reading it every night going, what are these people doing? So I'll let you know what that is next time I look at it because I don't even know what it's called. Um, which one of these was this? This was the Balmy Blue and this was the Seaside Spray. I'm going to put that one away so I don't get confused by all of this. All right, so we used... Light Smoky Slate for the boat bottoms, and then Light Balmy Blue for the water on the dies. Whew, I'm having a hot flash. Hang on. Woo! And the Sea of Silhouette Designer Series Paper. Now remember, if anybody wants to place an order, I always appreciate your orders. You can head right over to my blog. This is where you're going to find the online ordering button. If you have any questions about anything that you need to order, you can... Leave a comment here or you can email me, but I'm not answering them till tomorrow. <laughs> Just so you know, I want to give you a timeline. And um, use this host code if your order is under $150. If it's over $150, don't use the code. You're going to get some rewards from Stampin' Up! And I definitely, definitely want you to have those. So just know that. And I better make more cards. Who said that? Terry said, "You are you are you talking to me, Terry? <laughs> yeah, don't worry, I'll make more cards. You can't keep a good card maker down. Um, yes, I'm going to read the cards. Yes, I have them right here, so don't worry about that. Okay, let me get this stuff out of the way. Put some things away here, and I think I'm going to leave this. For, oops, not not that one. Okay, so oh, I shouldn't show people's addresses, right?" This card came from Mary Stroman. Look at how pretty that is. Thank you so much for your daily Facebook Live shows. They have been a spot of sunshine in these difficult days. You are a breath of fresh air, and I have learned so much from watching you. Many blessings to you and your family. P.S. I case this card from Wow Nola Creations and have all the measurements. I can email them to you if you would like them. Look at how pretty it is. Oops, man. Da, 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 da. Wow, an easel card, you guys. Very, very cool. Thank you so much, Mary. I can actually get the measurements because I have the card. I love the colors she used. And look, there's Wink of Stella on these flowers. This is absolutely stunning. Way to go. Way to go, Mary. Thank you so much for your kind note also. I love these notes. I love that you guys are loving these daily Facebook Lives. I'm really having a lot of fun with them. Then we have Cindy Kittner. Oh, wait. i got to show you the back of the envelope. Look, she decorated it. Very pretty. Then we have Cindy Kittner right here. She's got some decorations on here, and she used the bee paper. Ooh, I love that. Oh, that was such a pretty ribbon, right? This calls for confetti. confetti. I can't thank you enough. Thank you for the Golden Honey DSP from your daily drawing. Love your Facebook Lives. Isn't that pretty? I love this card. And it looks, oh, she spread that out. She put a black, one of these, I always want to call that the cloud stamp, but I think it's called Pretty Label. Yep, Pretty Label Punch, I mean. Very, very cool. Thank you, Cindy. Love this. Then, oh, this is a gorgeous card, too, and this is from, hang on, this is from Sandy, and I think it's Young, from Arizona. Look at how pretty that is. This was my online class, kit class, for April. Just a note of thanks for all you do to keep us 
quarantine stampers entertained. These are pretty scary times for everyone and you remind us we are all in this together and there is nothing we can do except follow the rules and support one another as the card says. Buy, it says life is short, buy the shoes and be as bold as your lipstick. I love, I love what she did here. This is super, super cute. She says, life is short, do what you love. Thanks for your daily videos and wonderful stories. Please thank your darling daughter for allowing all of us to share in her path to motherhood. I love seeing the excitement and joy in your face when you talk about baby Weedley. <laughs> Hugs to you and your family, Sandy. Sandy, this is gorgeous. And look at all those red rhinestones, you guys. Ah, oh, I love it. Very cool. Thank you so much. Then, Beth is on here tonight. I got this beautiful card. Look at this beautiful envelope. Oops, hang on. Look at this gorgeous envelope made out of paper. Isn't that cool? Yeah, she's making her own envelopes. I love this. And I love this die. So she made a square card, which is just beautiful. And it says, Kelly, happy Easter. Hope you have a wonderful day. Thanks for always making me smile and also inspiring me with your creativity. Bev is my um, Optavia coach. Oh, ooh, and look at that iridescent paper under there, too. That's really, really pretty. I love this die because, number one, it's really simple. It's easy to use. You just do once, and you get all the flowers and little edges here. But it's got such a big wow factor, and you don't have to do anything to it to make it a gorgeous card. I love this. All right, here we go. Oh, this is part of my monthly swap that I do. Oh, I got a card from Wendy Sue. Wendy Sue, this is the... I just squealed when I opened this. Are you ready? So, Wendy says, thanks for the inspiration. And Wendy made a box card, pop-up box card. Look at that, for Easter. Is that not cool? This was that um, Lily Impressions Designer Series paper. She's got a cross here, and of course the tulips are on the window sheet strips. And then the back, it says, I have made you, and I will carry you, I will sustain you, and I will rescue you. Isaiah, Isaiah 46, 4. Isn't that cool? Yeah, nice job, Wendy. I did, I squealed when I opened it. I'm like, oh my gosh, this is really cool. That'll go in the kitchen. And then... Last but not least, you guys, oh, hang on, my screen isn't scrolling again, and I have to get a drink, so hang on. This next card, I just kind of, when I opened this up, I was like, oh my gosh, I never, ever thought to make pink ladybugs, like, and then look at all the little details and the little flowers tucked in here and the little sequins and the little leaf and the... The little strip of the um, specialty paper. Like there's so many little things going on here that I just had to look at it for a while just to take it all in. And I love it. It's super cute. And there's Wink Estella on the Ladybug um, shells. Yeah. And their faces. So here we go, you guys. Are you ready for this? <laughs> Is Wendy on here? Did anybody see Is Wendy on tonight? Wendy Morris, are you on here? I hope this is okay. Um, this is a cute little picture of a little girl right here. And it says, Elizabeth Lovey Morris. So here's the letter that I got from Wendy. It says, Dear Kelly, I wanted to briefly share with you how excited I was to win the door prize. She won the little ladybug stamp set from me. Um, in late February, the ladybug stamp set and why I was brought to tears when you said my name. I saw the set and was a bit discouraged when told I needed to spend $300 at one time to earn this free set. I know, that could be rough, right? My daughter Elizabeth, who we call Lovey, was fascinated with ladybugs. We had a large weeping willow um, tree, tree that housed hundreds of ladybugs in the late summer. She loved to sit at the base of the tree and let them fly around her and squeal. If they landed on her, she would squeal, not the ladybugs. Lovey's giggle and beautiful smile would melt your heart. Tragically, Lovey was given an overdose of the wrong medication by a nurse while at a doctor's appointment. She was two years, 11 months, and one day old when she died. Oops. 
I am very blessed. My husband and I stayed married and raised our other two daughters who were 7 and 13 years old at the time. They are both now married, happy, and healthy. I had started stamping at a as a creative release of grief. I have done well over the years at one point selling my cards in a local flower shop. The last few years I have experienced a wave of grief with no creative mojo. One night in October of 2019, I stumbled upon a Sunday Facebook Live. Completely accidental. I was curious and continued to tune in. Since then, my creativity, attitude, and grief has been lifted. Thank you, Kelly, for your unending dedication to create beauty, creative, fresh paper crafting, and friendship to thousands of people. I'm on my way back. Yeah. Right? So... Just remember, with all the things we're going through right now, I'm flipping you because I am not afraid. <laughs> with all the things that we are going through right now, another of my favorite um, sayings is, it could always be worse. Right? We'll get through this. I'm so um, blessed to have all of you. And just remember, things could be worse. We need to be happy. Right? No more tears. Thank you, Wendy. You guys have a wonderful Easter, and I will see you back here sometime Monday. Bye-bye.